Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more I Am Setsuna. Let's go to the Magna Valley. Let's hope I survive. Let's hope I get Eterna or Julianne back soon. Okay, so we're just ignoring that monster then. Look, there he is! Hey, old man! Tut tut, can't it wait? I'm busy right now. Hey! Tut tut, stop pestering me. Don't make me repeat myself. A cash! I just said. Hmm? Why do you know my name? Oh, you're. You met in Flonea. Tut tut, yes, I remember. You're the sacrifice's party. Weren't you headed to the last lands, though? What are you doing here? It's a long story. Why do you look dirty and smelly? Tut tut, sounds like you've got your reasons. I'm amazed you can travel around a place like this on your own. It's not as if you can even use magic. Tut tut, I have my ways. I rub feces and body fluids from dead monsters all over my clothes, you see? It stinks something rotten, but if it works right, the monsters all stay well away. That explains the strong smell coming from your direction, then. Tut tut, body fluids are all right, but monster's blood is a definite no-no. Their blood contains toxic magical energy. If you got any in your mouth or in an open wound, you drop dead on the spot. Scary stuff. By the way, we heard you're looking for the spirit knight. Word travels fast, indeed I am. I plan to build my own airship. Build your own airship? You can do that? It's by no means impossible, but it'll definitely take a while. That's why I've been looking for a new spirit knight that'll work as a power source for it. Tut tut. Uh, we've got a lot. I'm not just looking for any old spirit knight. I'm looking for some that's powerful enough to serve as an energy source for an airship. Tut tut. However, I may not have found one yet, but I do have some idea where to look. Because I worked for his lordship, I'm never short on information, you see? Right, information. That's exactly what we need right now. That's why we were looking for you. Do you know a way to cross the vanished land? Huh? The what? Is this a dream you had or something? Well, you see... Blah 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 blah, ta 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 ta. I see, a vanished land, eh? Quite the pickle you're in. Come on, don't you have any ideas? I do. We can fly over it in my airship. Yeah? Are you really gonna be able to build one? Indeed I am. I'm going to be using Avalo's broken one as a base. All I need now is some spirit knight powerful enough to use as an energy source, and I'm good to go. So that's why you've been searching for spirit knight. Like I said, I do have some idea where to look. The royal ruins near here. The royal ruins? That's right, people call them the Ithys Ruins. The gate bears the crest of the old royal family. It wouldn't budge an inch though. Not that I really expected it to. Oh my gosh, are we getting Julianne back? The old royal family shrouded a mystery, see? The ruins of the old royal family. The entrance is just on from here. I doubt you'll manage it. But if you do get inside and find some spare knight, give it to me, eh? I'll use it to build my new airship. If you do bring it to me, there'll be a reward in it for you. Yes, let us on your airship. Tut tut, not a problem. I'm sure my airship will easily be able to fly over these vanished lands of yours. Alright, it's a promise. We'll do everything we can to help you. Well, I'll be waiting, but I won't get my hopes up. Tut tut. How positive of you. An airship, eh? Things are looking up. Yeah, they are. Anyway, let's head to the ruins and see if we can find some spirit knight he can use. Well, I can't even equip the lance because she's gone. The, this guy looks like a piece of garbage. <laughs> oh, I guess I didn't really have to use that on him. Oh well, better safe than sorry. Give me stuff. Ooh, more foxy ladies. Yes. Did all of them. Uh. Yeah, I'll give it to him. Uh, Setsuna, we switching. We switching talismans. Gosh, where is it? MP consumed. Uh, let's 
for now, I'll switch you to that. What do I have on right now? Where am I? Ah, oh, curse you guys! Uh, why don't I have- What do I have? Chain of Eternal Screams, okay. What did Setsuna have on? She had... Shoot, I don't remember. Boost, Flux, Ray. She had Holy Bloom. Okay, then I'll put Chain of Eternal Screams on you. Chain of Eternal Screams. There we go. Now the next time he gets Fluxes, it should be MP consumed, which should help lower the rate of Radiance. Don't ice me. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Oh, you didn't miss. Ouch. Why? I'll use cure. Really? It only hit her? For real? You gonna do that? Oh gosh. Oh, he didn't have any. Now you did. Both of ya. MP consume, yes. Red olive. Oh no. Let's do it. Let's do it. I can I can do this. I got this. I believe in myself. Provoke. Come after me! Oh, paralysis and stun! Oh no! Oh, okay. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Bye! <laughs> I was not prepared. I was too... too hasty. Oh, I only really needed to hear heal Jelly, huh? Whoops. Where are we going? Okay, this is back to the beginning. Um... But it says there's a house <clears throat> of crest of the royal family. Which is... Oh, shoot. Do you still have status back? Oh, you do. Heal paralysis. Dude. So I'm gonna have to go and get Julianne back, but I feel like we're not gonna be able to get her until we see this door for ourselves. Oh, it's right here. Okay, easy peasy. But wait, is there a treasure chest? Ooh, there's a glowy. This is the door. He was right. This thing ain't budging an inch. Jelly, that crest. Do you think it could be... It's the knighthood's crest. It is, isn't it? It's the same as the one we saw in Julianne's village. So this is the royal family they kept going around about restoring. If this gate won't open, there's definitely no point staying here. Come on, let's get out of here before monsters start showing up. Very... cool interlude. Wait, I was going out. Why am I... Tut tut. So, how'd it go? It wouldn't budge an inch, just like you said. So you couldn't do anything, eh? Tut tut. Now what are we gonna do? We know some people who have a strong connection to the crest on the gate, though. What's that? Friends of yours, are they? Where do these people live? The village of Royberg. It's near the Floberg waters. The Floberg waters, eh? Tut tut. Looks like it's your lucky day. Now the distortions in space are gone, you could just cut through this valley to get there. You come with us. Tut tut, I've still got things to do here. What do you have to do here? I've never been here before, so I still want to have a better look around. Who knows where some amazing spirit knight with unknown powers might be hidden away? You don't give up easily, I'll give you that. Alright, have a safe journey. If you find some good spirit knight, come and see me, tut tut. You pray. 
So if I go out here, does that mean I could just go straight to Royberg? I don't have to go to the stupid Floberg waters? Mmm, he's petrified. What the heck was that? Hurry up, dude! Ow. Thank you! Dead. Hmm. Okay, stone isn't a status that you have to heal after battle. What's up here? Why don't I start off, like, automatically? Preempt the strike, huh? Oh my gosh. Momentum lock? Oh, man. <laughs> Dummies. Losers. Why are you causing me all this grief? Why is it flashing purple? What's wrong with him? Sap, paralysis, confusion. I don't know what it is, so I'll just use a panacea. I just keep going left because I don't know where else to go. <laughs> oh, I didn't have SP. Radiance. Everyone dead. Uh, seriously, nothing here? Uh, locked chests. More monkeys and foxes. <laughs> Finally! Uh, maybe I should have just used uh, Setsuna's. Ah! Yay! Now that's full! Um, let's see how much MP it takes. Okay, it still says 28, but whatever. I'll just leave it on him for now. Um, do you go up and out? Okay, you go up and out. I want to explore what's to the right first, before I totally leave. Since I killed the monsters, they won't be respawning. Is it just back at the beginning? No. I think I came from there. Anything up here? Treasure chest, nice. Final comeback. It's the final countdown. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait! That's a shiny! Red Olive. All of these places look exactly the same. Ugh. I wish I had a smaller map. I wish I had a world map. Boy Beggars, this place. Yeah, I'm a save first. Julian, come back. Come back to me. Please, and bring Eterna with you. <clears throat> hmm? What's all this? Oh, you have returned! Lady Julianne has returned, everyone! No, she hasn't! Thank goodness, now we'll show those damn monsters a thing or two! So, where is Lady Julianne? Well, the thing is... Sorry, but Julianne ain't with us with her. Julianne ain't with us right now. We don't know where she is either, or even if she's alive or dead. But, but without Lady Julianne? You can't always rely on her. Man up, dudes. But the problem is, Sir Cornelius and the others left the village and still haven't returned. We're already stretched to our limits. Why? What's happened? The battle against the monsters has grown a lot more intense. So now even the knighthood can't keep up? That's the thing. They're no longer the sort of foes that we can handle. The way the monsters act has changed completely. 
changed. They attack in waves so as not to give us even a moment's rest. Multiple swarms launch coordinated attacks against us. It was never like this before. It's as if they're calculating when we'll be at our weakest and calmly waiting to strike. It was the same when my village was under attack. They really are changing, aren't they? It shames me to say this, but we are no longer able to protect the village. Jelly. Let's help them. Fine, maybe Julia will show up. Yeah, Jelly's right. We can't just not do anything. How would we ever be able to look Julian in the eye again? And we do need to get some information about the royal ruins out of these guys, too. Ah, so he'll help us? Thank you. Everyone will be so relieved. I'll go and let the others know before the monsters start attacking again. Oh, I almost forgot. You couldn't go and check on the children quickly for me, could you? Try and cheer them up a little, too, if you can. They're hiding inside Lady Julianne's house. Sure, I'll just do your entire jobs for you. Uh, how are you doing? I wonder how long our lives will continue like this. Not for long. Don't worry. I will save you. Um, let's sell some stuff. Oh wait, but I can only buy stuff. Any new weapons? Nope. Any new talismans? Mm. MP no, I like the bonus flux thing. Never mind. At least I can sell stuff. And which house was Julian's? No, me. Oh, new recipes. Where's the magic consortium guy? Oh, he was all the way to the south. Run, run, little dudes. Sell the items. Sell everything. No, oh, I didn't get a lot of stuff, huh? Oh well. So we gotta cheer up kids, we gotta fight off monsters, we gotta get more info, we gotta get Julianne. Come on, I know you're gonna come back to me. Snow, snow, oh tell me snow, the bird in the valley, mom will she fly, oh to return to the royal gate. Oh, to soar over the sky. Snow, snow, oh, falling snow. Oh, to return to that time. What brave kids. They must be singing in a nursery room to cheer each other up. Oh, hello. You all came back again. She seems really happy to see us, but I don't even remember seeing these kids before. Who knows? Anyways, it's nice that they're glad to see us. You're the princess's friends, right? Where's the princess? Sorry, Julia can't come back yet. But we've come here to help you all instead. Really? You came to get rid of the monsters? Leave it to us. I can't get rid of all of them for good right now, but... Yay, thank you! We were all so scared. That's alright, you don't have to worry now. Yay, so we don't have anything to be afraid of anymore. Where are your mommies and daddies? They're not here. They went off somewhere when the monster came. Ah, oh, my eyes are itchy again. Mother flipping, I thought this was done. Sorry. Ugh. We've been waiting for them, but they still haven't come back. I'm sorry. Why are you saying sorry? You didn't do anything wrong. We're going to protect you, all right? I promise. Uh, so do I, do I still have to talk to them? When I sing the song that the princess taught us, I don't feel afraid of anything. Phew, the monsters were real scary, but I didn't cry at all. I'm my father's son, you know. The blood of a knight runs in me. That's what my dad says. Aw, cutie pie. Oh, why are the little boys such crybabies? There's nothing to worry about. If we were ever really in trouble, I know the princess would come and save us. Sacrifices protect us all from the monsters, but maybe if we could get along with the monsters instead, we wouldn't even need sacrifices. Deep stuff, kid. Uh... Eyes, please stop itching. Leave me alone. Now we fight monsters? Now we fight monsters. Oh my gosh, they're adorable! Oh, I thought those were flowers on their head. No, it's a piece of stone. They're not as adorable anymore. Looks like our pals are here. Be careful, everyone. Seeing as Eterna isn't here, it looks like we've gotta, I've gotta pick up the slack. Really? You're gonna split off first thing? Huddle together. 
Huddle together. Come on. Yes, there we go. I still forgot to get lightning too for her. Shoot. Really? That didn't kill them? Uh, no, not provoke. Arrow strike. Oh my gosh, she didn't have an SP point. Freaking crack. Uh, just attacking. Nobody did. Wow, they get a ton of experience though. Now please stay huddled together. No, don't do that. Just move close into one area. I really need to get lightning too for her. Why do I keep forgetting? Dummy. Really? Really? This should kill them all. I should just not do anything with Setsuna. I should just wait for me to be ready. I will heal though. Yeah, yeah. Rock you like a hurricane. Stop it. Stop it. No, cure too. Uh, I'll attack you. Okay, good. Please just die. I wanted to be extra and get the momentum overkill. You guys are no problem for me. More of them? Damn it. I'm exhausted already. Leave it to me. Huh? But who are you? <gasps> She's back! Eterna, is that really you? Of course, although I suppose I wouldn't tell you if I wasn't, would I? I'm sure we've all got a lot of questions, but right now... Yeah, let's save it for later. Here comes the head honcho. Oh gosh, it's a goat man. Eterna, join my party! Bye, Dieter! Yep. Go, man, go, man. Lightning! Radiance! Oh, he didn't have SP. Um, let's protect just in case. Hi. Hi. He's ready. Aha, you missed. No. She's almost ready. Yep. Um, charge. Oh man, it's so useful having the HP showing. Because then I could plan my next moves better. Ow! Are you for reals? Uh. No, high potion. High potion! Me. High potion, me. I even have protect on. That's crazy. Okay, now we raise Setsuna. We raise Setsuna. And we high potion Setsuna. What? Singularity. Ow, you mother trucker. Uh, combo protects. Attack, uh, Radiance, you. Come on, Sesame. Sesame, go. I don't care if it's no momentum. It's better than nothing. 
Restore? Restore what? Uh, I turn to go. Uh, Oblivion? Let's try it. Oh, nice. Oh, are you for reals? Cure, just in case. Um, shoot, I need to protect again. Combo, protect. Gosh darn it. Oh my gosh, ether him, ether, 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 ether. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stop it! Tech Oblivion. Oh shoot. Tech Lightning. Okay, you protect everyone again. I guess we didn't need it, but come on, Sasuna, 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 just I don't care, go. Uh, go. That was it. That was stupid. Stop! Stop huddling. Tech, charge. Tech, radiance. Come on, Sasuna, let's go. Tech, lightning. I think it's time to- yep, it's time to protect everyone again. Hibernate! Hello? Are you for real? Can you not? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Faster, faster, faster. Is this battle ever going to end? Um, Ether, Eterna, you. You, charge. This freaking sucks. Nice. I don't like this. Ooh, Setsuna! <laughs> defensive, 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 okay. Uh... Tech, charge. Come on, can you just die? Fight. Are you for real? Can you like back off? Oh no, not Setsuna. Oh well, I'll just I'll just do it anyway. Oh, Ether. Me. Radiance, go! Come on, come on. Kill him now, Setsuna, kill him. Thank you, thank the lord. Holy crap, that sucked. Ugh. Not fun, not cool. So, what exactly is going on? Come on, you've got some explaining to- ah, explaining to do. Neither, stop! Eterna isn't our enemy! How sure about that are you, exactly? What do you think, Jelly? Why did you disappear? Well, that took me by surprise, too. But I can't tell you why it happened yet. For your sakes, and for my own. You really expect us to trust you after a half-cocked answer like that? I... I trust you. Welcome back, Eterna. Setsuna. 
I swear that I will take you to the last lands. I swear it, no matter what happens. I know. I've known all along. Phew. Well, this whole thing sure is a big mystery, but you ain't lying. Whoops! Sorry, I forgot to put my phone on silent. I can tell that much, and so can Jelly. I've trusted you all along anyway. Thank you, everyone. I heard you were here from one of the knights. Thank goodness. Thank you so much. I have not been outside in a long time. Oh, you're Julianne's childhood friend, aren't you? We've taken care of most of the monsters near here. You shouldn't have to live in fear anymore, for the moment at least. And we'll find Julianne too, I promise. Thank you, I'm counting on you. By the way, your ancestors must have had something to do with the royal family too, right? Well, sort of, but... There's something we want to ask you then. Tell us about the royal crest. The royal crest? I do not know much about it, but I have heard long ago the crest possessed a sacred power. There are some ruins that have the crest engraved at their entrance. Do you know how we can get inside? I have heard tell of a hidden place that is somehow connected to the royal family. Do you know how to get inside? That I do. It is spoken of in legends passed down in our village. Really? However, I do not think it will be possible now. Why not? Because the seal on that gate can only be opened by one with royal blood. Royal blood, eh? We need Julian. What happened to her anyway? You said something about finding her. After you disappeared, she went off somewhere too. Anyway, it looks like we're not getting anywhere until we find Julian. Julian, where are you? But how are we gonna go about looking for her? You don't have the slightest idea where to start. Let's just go and check on those children again instead. I feel sorry for them being stuck inside all this time. You've grown up a lot since I last saw you, Kier. It's only been a couple of minutes, whatever. Huh? You think? I don't think I'm any different. I agree with Kier. Come on, let's head back to where those children were. Let us talk to the kids. What could they possibly know? We shall find out. Look, it's the princess's friends! Is the princess back yet? Sorry, not yet. Oh, oh well, we'll just wait here and sing. The princess taught us this song, you know? Oh, Julianne did, did she? That's right! The princess is great at singing. Will you sing it for me then? Sure! One, two, three! They really sang it in Japanese. Whoa. Snow, snow. Oh, tell me, snow. The bird in the valley, when will she fly? Oh, to return to the royal gate. Oh, to soar over the sky. Snow, snow, oh, falling snow. Oh, to return to that time. The song. There's something about it. We gotta find the bird in a valley. Wait, that's the thing in, in the Magna Valley. Yeah, I agree. Something about it? Which part? The bird in the valley. Yes, I think so too. If the valley in the song is Magna Valley, then maybe... There's something about that line, the bird in the valley. Maybe it signifies something else. Something else that flies through the sky like a bird. I do get the feeling that song has something to do with all of this. But even if it does, I don't see how us analyzing the children's rhyme is going to help anything. Let's ask the aspiring researcher. Yes, right. There might be some sort of record in it, in an old document or something. The more information we have about the royal family, the better. Let's go pay the aspiring researcher a visit. 
get us closer to the truth. But first, I equip Setsuna with <laughs> Lightning 2. I don't think she has Lightning 2, though. Oh, I do! What the heck was I doing? Mother flipping! Oh, wait, I need to check on my... Okay, I have Vingalum, Radiance, Cyclone, Red Love. Okay, I do have everything. Aspiring researcher was... In this house, I think. Yes, you are! Excuse me, we want to ask you about a nursery rhyme. A nursery rhyme? Oh, that one the children always sing, you mean? The song's lyrics are said to show its writer's nostalgia for the royal capital. Their desire to one day fly across the sky and return there. So it isn't just about a bird after all. But even if that's the case, flying back across the sky is impossible for humans. Yeah, so it's a sad song, because it is impossible. So it's like they at least want their thoughts to return to their homeland. But the words of the song, the bird in the valley, when will she fly? Don't you think it's like there's a sense of hope behind those words? A sense of waiting for something? There is one other thing that can fly. You certainly could take words to mean that, couldn't you? You don't mean an airship. It's certainly not impossible. Legend has it that back at the time of the kingdom's fall, by chance the queen and the select few of her retainers were away on the royal airship and thus survived. You don't think they could have hidden the airship in the ruins inside Magna Valley, do you? Maybe so that they wouldn't be pursued by the foe who destroyed their kingdom. So, what do you think? There's no way of saying for certain, but personally, I'd say there's definitely a very good possibility that's the case. So there isn't just Spirit Knight in the ruins. There's a whole airship! And a royal one too! A cash would blow his top if he heard this. All I'm saying is that it's possible. I've known that nursery rhyme since I was a little boy, so it never occurred to me before. And of course, until the spatial distortions disappeared, we weren't even able to get to Magna Valley. So we need to find Juliet and get inside the ruins. Then, once we find a royal airship, then we'll be able to cross the vanished land? Alright! Things are looking up! But it was Juliet who chose to stay away from us, and in the state she was in. I'll make her do what I say! We're not gonna listen to her anymore. Don't be ridiculous. She'll kill you! In her weakened state, I'd kill her. Her magical energy is off the scale! You won't need to do that. Julianne will come back to us. She's one of us, and she means to the world to all the people of the village, too. So first, we need to find Julianne. Right, we can't do anything else until we do. Come on, let's go and look for Julianne. On the way, we can go tell old man Akash about the royal airship. Oh, gosh. But where am I gonna find her? Do I go back to that mountain? Oh, what up? Akash is here. Akash, and all the knights! Ah, you are here. What happened? Looks like some of your knights are injured. Ugh, we've been to hell and back, and all because that Julienne, she... Sir, kindly hold your tongue. What? No, where is she? We need to know where to go. I, I'm afraid I cannot tell you that. Given the circumstances, I'd say this was an emergency, wouldn't you? You didn't stand a chance by yourselves, right? If you don't let us help, the situation's only going to get worse. Please tell us, we might be able to help. With the spatial distortions gone, we were on guard against monsters invading from other regions. I led our troops into Magna Valley. It was there we found Lady Julianne. Or what remains of her. Is Julianne safe? No, I'm afraid she's not what you would call safe. Her Highness is no longer Her Highness. Upon noticing us, she suddenly rose to her feet and attacked us. How many times is she gonna get possessed? Dang, girl! Like, is your mental state really that weak? Cloaked in a sinister aura, she seemed more monster than human. Julianne. And so, left with no other alternative, we used a restraining spell to contain her there. However, its effect shall not last long. Her Highness, Lady Julianne, is in great pain. Her incredible magical energy has something to do with what's happening to her, doesn't it? Tell us what's going on! But, but I... Julianne is one of us now. 
If she's in pain, we want to help her. We have already done everything that we can. Very well, I shall tell you. Most likely, it is due to the blood of a monster. Huh? Lady Julianne consumed the blood of a monster. What? Why? Isn't monster blood highly poisonous? Indeed it is. Most humans would die instantly if they consumed it. But in some rare cases, there are those to whom it grants great power and life force. Her Highness is one such example. A long time ago, when out slaying monsters, Her Highness was left stranded by an avalanche. We heard it was to rescue a knight who didn't get away in time, right? Indeed, Her Highness was left teetering on the very edge of life and death. In order to survive, she had no choice but to consume the blood of a monster. It was because of her fierce will, her undying determination to see her kingdom restored. Yeah, alright, we get the picture. So it's the effect of the monster blood. That's what's given her that superhuman magical energy. Her Highness survived and returned to the village. We all rejoiced, of course. However, in exchange for that incredible magical energy, the monster blood began to transform her into a monster herself. Her Highness's mental state has become progressively worse. On occasion, her mental distortions cause her to show extreme cruelty and ruthlessness. I fear Her Highness may never return to her former self. And so, I have prepared myself to die together with her. I shall continue my service to her in the afterlife. No one's dying just yet, old man. Right now, we need to help Julianne. Don't worry, we'll get Julianne back to her old self. When I think of Her Highness's pain, I... I... Awesome. Just leave the sentence there. Seeing as you told them we were going to save her, I take it you've got some sort of plan? Come on, what else can I say, given the circumstances? Exactly. Anyway, we need to get Julian back to normal, no matter what. If we don't, we won't be able to enter the ruins. But if her transformation has already progressed this far, will there really be any way we can cure her? Gah! We're gonna kill her, we're gonna find someone to cure her. Yo, what about Sayagi? She's a healer. Looks like we ain't got no other choice. It's easy enough to say that, but finding someone isn't going to be that simple. Treating a human who's turning into a monster isn't something just anyone can do, right, is it? What we need is to find someone who can cure Julianne. Mm, easier said than done. We don't know anyone who's good at that sort of thing, do we? Do they, do they just say that? They're just saying the same thing twice. In different wording. Freaking useless. Yeah, we do. We know just a person. Someone who specializes in healing magic. Let's get Sayagi. That's right. Sayagi did call herself a healer after all. She already cured Julianne once too. Sayagi did help cure Julianne before. Didn't Kira just say that? Why are you guys being so redundant? Maybe it's worth talking to her. Come on, let's go back to Gatherington. I don't remember how to get back to Gatherington. I need to heal. I'll use a tent. Why not? I can't use a tent in the town. I'll go outside. Which way is it to Gatherington? Oh dang. I don't remember anything. Tent. Tent up. Anyways, I'm going to save this here. I've done a lot of talking and now my jaw is tired. So, um, next time we start, I'll be in Gatherington. I'm not gonna spend time during a recording to have me lost and be like, where the heck is Gatherington? No, I'll be there already. But at least we got a turnip back. Yay, one good thing happened. And hopefully, next time we see Julianne, we'll be able to cure her for real. Because I'm really sick and tired of her being all like, I'll go with you, no I can't. Oh no, monster blood. Oh no, I'm down. So I'm tired of that. Just get her better. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.